Okay, welcome back to another wonderful question in front of all of you. And as always, I'm giving you some time. You are supposed to solve this question on your own. So you can, uh, you know what you can, right? Pause your video, take a screenshot and solve the question and come back fast. Your time starts now. Okay. So uh, let's read it together and again this question is based on a previous cat question and one of the interesting question, good question here. So it says the number of integral values uh, k can take where k is in this range that it is, it can start from 10 and it can go up to 100. Uh, condition is such that the product k minus 1, k minus 2 up to 3 to 1 is not divisible by k, right? It is not divisible. So I've said it repeatedly that we should be very, very careful what is given here. It is not divisible. I need to keep uh, uh, this thing in mind. This, uh, this product should not be divisible by what? K, right? So we are to try to find such values of K, right? And within that range. So that is the question. How many, the number of integral values K can take? K ki kitni values ho sakti hai? Integral values, right? Within this range, so it's, it is certainly a positive integer. It is not negative. Uh, always be sure about that thing also. Whenever it is asking about integral values, so this integral values may include negative values as well, right? So whenever we talk about integers, that includes negatives as well. But because the range is given for this number here, within 10 to 100, so it is going to be positive integer. So there is no confusion, at least in this part. Okay, coming back now. So I want uh, uh, the, my number k to be in this range, that's one thing. And so it is certainly it is a positive integer now. And uh, it should not, this product should not be divisible by k, right? It should not be divisible by k. What about this product now, if I see? This is a long product, right? Starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on up to k minus 1. Uh, do you recognize this pattern? Yes, Are Baba, it is expansion of a factorial number, isn't it? Uh, I hope all of you remember that when you say 5 factorial, what does it mean? It is a product starting from 5, 4, 3 and goes up to 1, isn't it? Isn't it? That's called 5 factorial. Same way 6 factorial would be starting from 6 and would be going up to 1. Right? So same way this product is starting from k minus 1 and is going up to 1. So what it is? It is nothing but k minus 1 factorial. Yes or no? So the question is simply that this k minus 1 factorial it should not be divisible by this number k. Right? So we are to look for such values of k. Okay, there is a fun, one step, one step we have seen here that this we want, what do we want? k minus 1 factorial should not be divisible. This should not be divisible by k. We have to look for certain values, such values of k. Okay, and we are having a range of k. There is no formula for that, nothing. Uh, we need to see what happens. Okay, let's try to identify. Let's try to identify. If I start with the smaller values, I have said it many times, uh, specifically numbers. Uh, it is true for many other topics as well, uh, but specifically for numbers in the various ways, uh, there are no direct shortcuts. But pattern would be there. Some conjuncturing would be there. So based on certain observation, we need to develop those skills that we uh, would be able to see, which is not visible. Are wow, acha phrase ban gaya, na? Try to see which is not visible. You know? So it is not see visible directly. But when you try to use your intelligence in that structured manner, you will be able to see which is not clearly, not directly visible, right? So that's what the objective of exam setters. Right, so uh, as I'm discussing here, we have seen here, I'm looking for such values of k so that k minus 1 factorial is not divisible by k, right? And I don't see anything further. So let's try to see by certain observations. Let's start using the values of k. So minimum value of k could be 10, right? As per this uh, range, the minimum value of k could have been 10. So if I take k to be 10, so this k minus 1 would become 9, right? So 9 factorial. Let's check. Is 9 factorial divisible by 10 or not? What do you see? My requirement is that it should not be divisible. Then we would take that value of k, right? Now, right now we have taken k is equal to 10. So this is k here. This is a value of k here and this is k minus 1 factorial. I need to see whether it is, uh, whether this k minus 1 factorial, whether this factorial value is divisible by that denominator number or not. I want it should not be, right? So when it will not be divisible, I will consider that particular k, right? Now you tell me 9 factorial, is it divisible by 10 or not? 
mind that don't forget we have already talked about this what is the meaning of factorial factorial is product of all the numbers from that number up to 1 right while going down up to 1 so 9876543321 right so is that divisible by 10 or not now don't tell me you need to multiply them all to see this it is not required na are baba 9 factorial contains 5 right it contains 2 Right? When you multiply this number, so 5 and 2 will also be multiplied, which create 10. So basically, uh, what is the key point here? Key point is to look for the prime factors of this number. This 10 is nothing but 5 into 2. And 5 divides this number because this product will be containing 5. And 2 also divides this number because 2 is also there. So it means that this number uh, is divisible. Right? This 9 factorial is divisible by 10. That means k is equal to 10 will not work will not work right will not work right because 5 into 2 is contained there okay let's proceed further Aage dekhte, Aage dekhte. if i look for next value of k if i take k to be 11 this would be 10 factorial now tell me whether 10 factorial uh, divided by 11 is it divisible or not uh, you remember what was the keyword keyword was that uh, key point was that i need to see the prime factors of this number and then need to see whether they divide that or not but 11 itself is a prime number isn't it? 11 is a prime number. So, 11 to isko divide nahi karega na. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Bhai, kuch bhi mil jau. Na, no, no number there is multiple of 11. And the numbers which are not multiple of 11 cannot create a multiple of 11 by multiplying with itself. That is the meaning of prime number, right? So, a prime number cannot be created by multiplying some different numbers. It is not possible. Prime number is the smallest entity. <clears throat> so, because 11 is a different prime number, which is not contained in this product, so certainly 11 will not divide 10 factorial. That means 11 will satisfy our required condition, right? Why it is satisfying? Because it is a prime number, right? 11 is a prime number. Okay. So, can I say that prime numbers will always satisfy this? No, no, not always. Uh, 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 what I said, I said this prime number is not contained in it because in this product there are many prime numbers. But Baba, uh, this denominator is certainly going to be a larger number than that, right? So if it is a prime number, certainly it will satisfy because uh, this is going to be not included in this product. So all the prime numbers here would certainly be valid, right? Let's check one more. Let's check one more. If I go further, the next value of k would be 12. So, will 12 divide 13 factorial or not? Please tell me quickly. Will 12 divide, sorry, not 12, uh, 13, it would be 11 factorial, right? Uh, <coughs> this is 11 factorial. So, will 12 divide 11 factorial or not? Please tell me quickly, yes or no? Yes, it will divide. Why? Um, now, don't see, don't tell me that 12 is greater than 11. 12 is greater than 11. But 12 can be factored into 4 into 3. And 4 divides 11 factorial. 3 also divides 11 factorial because 11 factorial is a product of the numbers starting from 11, then 10, then 9, up to 1, right? Going down up to 1. So, that product contains 4 as well as 3. So, this product is divisible by 12. That means this number does not satisfy, right? Reason? Because it is having smaller factors. That means prime numbers should work, right? So, we are looking for those prime numbers which are greater than that number. And because denominator number is always going to be more than that, so all prime numbers in the range are going to satisfy. Let's quickly look at the next number. So, 13 is the next value of k, which is a prime number. And here it is 12 factorial. So, up to 12, there is no prime number which is divisible by 13. There is no number which is divisible by 13 because 13 is more than 12 clear right isn't it obvious thing that's it that's it so we are done we are done so we have conjectured easily and we have seen two examples and further also i know that that is same thing is going to happen 14 will satisfy kya no because it contains 2 and 7 2 will divide that numerator and 7 will also 15 15 will also divide that number because uh, 15 means 5 into 3 5 and 3 both are contained in 14 factorial. What about 16? 16 is also 8 into 2, right? So 16 will certainly divide 15 factorial. But 17? 17 will not divide 16 factorial because 17 is a greater prime number not contained in 16 factorial. I hope it is very clear now. So basically this question is nothing but, this question is nothing but this uh, k, the values of k is uh, simply prime numbers, right? The question is basically, uh, we can reframe it calculate the number of prime numbers in this range. I repeat, question is simply 
कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ प्राइम नंबर्स इन दिस रेंज टेन से लेकर हंड्रेड तक कितने प्राइम नंबर्स हैं राइट दिस वेरी डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ सो दैट्स हाउ दिस अगेन मल्टी लेयर क्वेश्चन यू फाइंड द क्वेश्चन इन एग्जाम इन दैट वे क्वेश्चन कोड हैव आंसर डायरेक्टली लाइक दैट कितने प्राइम नंबर होते हैं भाई दैट्स अ वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन राइट इफ यू नो यू कैन आंसर इट डायरेक्टली इफ इवन इवन इफ यू डोंट नो यू कैन काउंट एंड देन टेल राइट बट हेयर क्वेश्चन वॉज नॉट टेलिंग दैट यू आर टू रीच टू दैट पॉइंट दैट द नंबर्स वी आर लुकिंग फॉर आर ऑल प्राइम नंबर्स विद इन दिस रेंज राइट सो नाउ इट इज अ वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन so i hope all of you know that uh, how many prime numbers are there from 1 to 100 so from 1 to 100 there are exactly 25 primes right there are exactly 25 primes that uh, is a very common thing and it has been asked in exam directly also many times many different exam and it has been used in various ways as in this question as well okay so remember that if you don't know it already uh, you can write the prime numbers also and you can uh, check it yourself so 1 to 100 there are exactly 25 primes uh, but we are to calculate uh, primes starting from 10 right so before 10 how many primes are there there are only four which are those 2 3 5 and 7 isn't it so removing those four primes from here so our answer is going to be 21 so there are 21 different values of different integral values of k are possible right there are number of integral values of k are 21 here uh, within this range which satisfy this condition so that's all for the day i hope uh, it clarifies a lot of things and uh, you become bit more wiser today thank you